Hi, my friends and colleagues. My name is Jodet Kara, and I am the Chief Resident in Neurology. Today, I will talk about one of the unusual clinical cases in my medical practice. In my medical practice? This patient has previously received treatment for his illness many times, which was unsuccessful. The main symptoms were the constant urge to urinate, as well as the appearance of severe pain in the suprapubic area during the overflow of bladder. In the framework of differential diagnosis, a cystoscopy was performed. For whoever doesn't know what it is, I will explain. A cystoscopy is a method for examining the inner surface of bladder. So let's see how it really looks. At first, a cystoscope is inserted into the bladder under local anesthesia through the urethral canal to the bladder cavity. We should pay attention to the mucous membrane of the bladder and the presence of pathological signs. We examine the trigon and ulterior orifices on the right and left. Urinary discharge from the ureteric orifices is observed. Next, we inspect the entire cavity. In the area of the bottom, for the bladder, there is a region of hyperemia, which is called Hunter's ulcer. Other pathological signs aren't noted. Well, what do we have now? The diagnosis is Hunter ulcer, or otherwise called is a Hunter lesion. There are three main ways to treat this pathology. First, there is ulcer resection or ulcer removal from the bladder wall. The second way is a fluguration. It does mean transurethral ablation. And the last one is an injection into the submucosal layer using the steroid drugs. All treatment options were explained to the patient and then ulcer was performed. The next day, the patient mentioned a significant improvement in health condition and a reduction in discomfort. So, if you are interested in this video, subscribe to me like this video. Be healthy and take care of yourself.